starting off with our Nest Cam looking to the south today. You can see some of those partly cloudy skies and some bubbly cumulus clouds producing just a quick sum summertime showers today. Very short lived in nature. Got that sunset going thanks to some Saharan dust in the sky. Pretty pretty out there. And as we look at the temperatures throughout the day, pretty cooled off last night into those lower 70s, about 73s, where we called that morning low today. Got that daytime warming going today, and we topped out at 99 degrees. And as we're losing that sun, sunshine heating, we're starting to cool off back into the 80s now. And as we look across the entire region, 88's what we're at here in town. The hot spot's going to be Robert Lee coming in at 95 degrees right now. A little bit cooler off to the south and east once again, 85 for Menard, 85 over there in Brady, 84 for Junction. Cool spot's going to be over in 82 for Ozona there. And as we look at the dew points, just a little bit drier than yesterday. More of us in those 50s, 56 for Ballinger and 58 for Robert Lee. And the rest of us joining in a combination of those 60s with relative humidity indices for the most part down from yesterday as well into the 30s and 40s with a couple of 50 percents down along the I-10 corridor. But that's better than the 60 to 70 percent we were seeing down there yesterday. The upper level pattern showing you we still have this persistent ridge of high pressure over the American Southwest. And heading into this work week, it looks to really stay pretty prominent by that Wednesday to Thursday. Thursday time frame. But Thursday into Friday, we have this trough off to the east, and that's going to droop a weak cold front into our region. That's going to boost rain chances from Wednesday evening heading into the weekend, thankfully. For today, though, looking at the severe convective outlook from the National Weather Service, really targeting areas off to the north once again, up towards North Dakota into Minnesota there, as well as towards the Chicago, Illinois region. And as we look at that satellite and radar, you can see that's where they have those severe thunderstorm watch boxes going off across Montana into North Dakota there, as well as across the uh, Illinois and Iowa uh, corridor there. You can see they have some severe thunderstorm warnings across the area as well as towards Arizona where they're dealing with some of those monsoonal conditions for this time of year across the state. It's a lot more quiet, just some of those showers and storms, mainly cloud cover off towards the Gulf Coast. Also a little bit of activity over there in the Big Bend. And as we pull up the radar, you can see that's where they had some of those showers were over in the Big Bend, really starting to fizzle out as they lose that daytime heating. That's their source of energy for the rest of the state, sitting pretty quiet, including us here in the Concho Valley. Unfortunately, I know we could use the rain. As we pull up that future cast, you can see going into this week, I'm talking Wednesday into the, into the weekend is where those rain chances really start to boost. Boost. By Wednesday evening, as we see this weak cold front start to work its way down, that's where we first see these showers and storms start to pop up. This is that GFS model that's really going to hold pretty strong into the Thursday and Friday time frame. But between this and the Euro model, there's some pretty big differences on when and how heavy this rain could be. So as we work into this week, we'll see exactly where those showers and storms are going to form and how heavy they'll be and how much rain we could see heading into this weekend. For tonight, though, we're going to be mostly clear under these clear skies, 73 degrees as well. I'm forecasting for here in San Angelo. Winds still out of the south about 5 to 15 miles an hour. And tomorrow, another hot one. Forecasting 102 degrees. Looks like we're going to pass that century mark tomorrow. Then winds out of the south about 10 to 20 miles an hour. As we time that out for you throughout the day, it's looking pretty warm throughout the day. We're seeing those temperatures. 101 is what the GFS is forecasting for us. I think we warm up just a degree past that. So another hot one. Make sure to practice that heat safety as we're heading into tomorrow and including the first half of this work week. As we see those triple digits really ruling the forecast, but there's Wednesday evening. That's our first chance for those showers and storms. And as we head into the weekend, that's where we see even better chances for showers and storms working into the region, as well as those temperatures getting more to a seasonable summertime mid-90s with those